let's start here. All or nothing, great second season. Muzzle tub to you and everyone who uh, who toiled on it. Um, starting with this, John Hamm is the narrator. Is he now going to be, are you in negotiations to lock him in as the facenda of the 21st century? That's a good question. I'll t- Ham is awesome to work with. We work with, we, one of the great things about being NFL Films is that we, we work through America's Game, through everything else, we work with a lot of great actors. And we've found that actors, by and large, make the best narrators these days. You, you hand them a script and they read a line as if it's theirs. It hmm. doesn't sound like they're reading. And Ham is terrific. And the idea that we got to work and, and continue to work with Don Draper to tell a story is, you know, well, a, a I actually dream think come true for all of us. Starting off, how did you decide the Rams? A- and part two of that, when they started so strong, three and one, did you think that you had another Cardinal story on your hands? Like, did, did you believe that they were going to be good? Here's what everybody needs to know about this season of this series. In 55 years, we've never even been close to a position like we were in with the Rams this season. That, no, you, I mean, for, a, for myriad reasons, you're hopeful that things are going well. Because, right. Because, you know, you're Well, you care about the people to, now, right? You're into the people. You're invested. We've got a crew on site at all times that are living with this team, you know? And if, if things start going badly, you're worried about the crew. You're worried about the production. You're worried about things, about, the, you know, potentially are they going to look at us and say we're part of the problem? Right. So you're, you're, you're nervous about that stuff. And all of this was new, you know, 24 seven other shows, obviously we do hard knocks. Other shows have come along where, where teams have been embedded or, or crews have been embedded with a team for six weeks at a time, maybe eight weeks, right? but never an entire season and right. not every day of an entire season. So the experience with the Cardinals was all new and you know, they're winning every week. So n- nobody's going to look at us and say, you guys are a problem. It was, it was perfect. And we like to think that we've, through technology and experience and everything else, there, we're able to be flies on the wall, really. Like, you know, we're able to, to allow you to do your jobs and we'll do our jobs and, and we're not going to get in your way. What we had never experienced in all these years is we're going to be embedded with you and everything's going to go to pieces in the middle of the thing. Right. And what, what happens next? So, no, we didn't set out last year saying, well, we did a great team in year one. Let's do a bad team in year two. That was not the idea. Sure. We don't feel like we need to go shoot the team that's going to win the Super Bowl every year. But I think what we learned from this experience and and credit to the Rams, they were terrific. And especially credit to our directors and our crew, our our directors, Shannon Furman and Pat Harris, who lived with the team. The relationships were very strong. The team trusted them and allowed them to keep shooting. But what we learned is that there are 32 teams, there are 32 different narratives, different right. stories, and every one of them is going to be full of its own twists and turns in the NFL. The human element of how Jeff Fisher breaks it to his team. Every human being wouldn't approach it in the same way when he tells his coaches, it's going to be a lot to handle, it's going to be a tough week, but I won't be there. <laughs> Because I'm not your coach anymore. Right. Like it's, a, it's a very dramatic delivery he gives. Uh, when did your crew know on that day that it had happened? Like, did, w- w- were you just in a coach's meeting and suddenly he says what, what Dave just said? or we? Somebody might have tweeted it, like Ed Werder. Uh, right. Tw- very early that it was happening. But we did not know the night before. You know, they got blown the doors blown off by Atlanta and it was a very ugly scene and and I think that game in the series is is an important moment because that you see them sink to a depth that they that they had not previously sunk emotionally Um, particularly in the locker room at halftime is a a really significant moment in that in a series but so we we were at that point we're wondering, is he going to make it to the end? And then Shannon called 
And Shannon and Pat happened to both be there that day, thank God, and said, you know, a text, he's, get, he's getting fired. And no one ever told us to stop rolling hmm. that day. That's so, At wow. no point the entire day did we ever stop rolling the cameras. And, you know, there, like Hard Knocks, there are robotic cameras in the meeting rooms that we control, you know, so that they can have these meetings without having a camera crew, a film crew in there shooting everything. You know, it just creates more separation where they can be themselves and not have to be conscious of a camera right. shooting them all the time. Was that the case so, that morning? In, yeah, in, so we, in in those rooms, so there weren't actual camera men in there. It was, oh, my, okay, that makes it even never. more fascinating. Is this on track to become a, a, a perennial thing like uh, Hard Knocks? That's certainly the idea. Um, and I, I think we and, and Amazon are, you know, hopefully the response to this Rams season is positive. I, I think fan, there's been a lot of people who have asked, why are you doing the Rams? You did Hard Knocks on them. They were terrible. And nobody – you know, nobody realizes the process that you, know, right, you, of course. you make this decision and you take the plunge. You don't know how a team's going to do in the NFL. It's impossible to predict. But um, hopefully people respond to this one. But I, I think that season three is likely. We're talking to several teams now and hopefully we uh, seal the deal here.